guys. Um, I finished last week's vlog sitting right in this spot. Uh, I have moved. It's Wednesday night. There is a lot going on in the world. Last week at the end of the vlog, I, I started talking about what is happening in the world and I don't do a very good job. And I have come to realise that it's because I don't know that much. It's a really strange thing. I was, I was thinking to myself, I was like, why do I not know more about this? But I kind of do know. I know I know about the oppression that black people have faced for a really long time. I know that it's been a long time. I know that there was slavery, and I, but there's a but I didn't know that much. And I realized that that reason is because it makes me really upset and feel uncomfortable, to be honest. I feel uncomfortable that that anyone in this world has had to go through that. Um, I think it is so unfair and unjust and that there is no reason behind it. Like it, it did not have to happen. And another thing that I realized that it if it makes me uncomfortable, then that's really too bad. Something else that I've realised is that if it makes me feel uncomfortable, how on earth would that make black people feel? Knowing that their ancestors, and, and not even their ancestors because it's still happening today, how does that make them feel? And the only reason that I'm not watching these documentaries that have been around for a long time, that I have chosen not to watch, not out of ignorance, I, I hope to say, but more that it makes me really upset and I, and I don't want to watch things that make me upset but I feel like I have a duty to learn about this and watch these things and feel the feelings that I feel when I watch them and understand that it is not a patch on what black people feel like when they have to watch this and when they have to learn about it. So that is what we've all been doing. Yesterday was Black Out Tuesday um, on social media and that meant that we are not posting about our normal stuff right now because the world can wait um, for selfies and coffees and cute lunches, you know. The world does not need that right now. What the world needs is our support and to show that we are all pulling together for Black Lives Matter and um, to hopefully really make a difference and the only way that we can do that is all together. I am quite embarrassed that it has taken me to this long to properly educate myself. Uh, so since Sunday, um, Sunday morning, I have been sharing different ways that you can educate yourself different ways that you can help by donating money, whatever you can manage. If you can't manage that, then you can sign petitions, which is free. And this, for me, has been so important because I feel like I'm really beginning to understand as much that, as I will be able to why people are angry and upset. I am going to leave a little list. I've done it on my Instagram. You can head over there and there's a little highlight on my Instagram that I have left loads of information, true heartbreaking stuff, proper heartbreaking stuff um, that I recommend that you watch. Again, it will make you feel uncomfortable and it will make you feel sad, but that is something that we need to watch and, and learn and, and see. I'm going to link some stuff down below as well of places that you can donate. There's actually two brilliant articles that I read that, that kind of broke it down really easily for me to, to digest. It was loads of different places that you can donate and also different links with different information. There are loads of lists of books you can read, films you can watch, documentaries you can watch. The wealth of information out there right now is, is huge, more than ever before I would say. And that is pretty much what, I, what I've been doing for the first few days of the week. I have been watching films. Uh, the first film that I watched was, it's called 13th on Netflix and it's less than two hours long. I proper cried at parts because it's just like despair. I just highly recommend that you do the same just so we can all understand and and be educated on this because it's so important and, and honestly it just makes me so angry, so angry. So I just wanted to start this week's vlog. I was questioning, I don't know whether, I didn't know whether I should vlog this week or not um, and then I realised that I actually probably have a duty to because especially we're in Scotland Racism is really different here. Um, it's not as in your face, but it is still absolutely present. I feel like I know that a lot of my audience is from the UK and a lot are, are from Scotland as well. I really do think that we should all be going forward 
taking part in this in this movement and really hopefully making making a difference at the moment work is kind of postponed I'm, I'm still working i've been working the last couple of days but i do find that i've been on my phone non-stop for about five days and i'm just flicking and scrolling and watching videos after videos and reading articles and when i'm not doing that i'm watching documentaries i'm watching films i also potted a plant today i needed you know i needed a breather a lot of this stuff is really really again it's really hard to watch but it's our duty to watch and learn about this so i did take five minutes to go and pot a plant i had to repot a plant i'll show you it later one of the things that i thought i was talking to jeff about this and i was thinking you know when someone does something wrong to you and they say sorry nothing really happens straight away it takes time for you to learn that that person truly is sorry because they've not done whatever it was again you know they've learned their lesson and, and they're trying hard to be a better friend right I, I feel like in a small way that this is the same. We cannot make this better overnight. We probably can never make it better, to be honest. But we can prove to the black community that we do care by consistency. And this not just being, you know, posting a black square on Instagram and then saying, right, okay, I'm done. Feel better. It is not that. Um, and I'm really excited. I'm really excited to, to prove my support you know it's just it just needs to be rooted in our daily lives we're gonna have to people have to unlearn a lot of things that they have really deep rooted in them and they're gonna have to learn new stuff i don't know whether i've got too much hope in people but if we still keep on going with this kind of consistency there'll be absolutely no option but for things to change and that um that to me is exciting hello i promise i have moved this is the same place i've been sitting in here a lot i don't know why i just really like this room I feel really comfortable in it. I just feel like it's my room, you know. I've been working all day. I think yesterday I was, I try, I try again, I tried to articulate how I was feeling and what we can all be doing to um, move forward in the best way that we can. And I don't know if I did a good job or not. I can't really remember what I said just because I was a bit panicked, to be honest. Something that I've thought today, actually, I was talking to my mum and dad about this. We've been talking a lot about everything that's going on. I think it's really important to be having conversations, even tr even really tough ones. I have been thinking about anyone that's having to talk to their parents if their parents are racist. Honestly, that's what I've been thinking. I feel really lucky because my mum and dad are really empathetic, really p good people. And they feel the exact same way as I do. But they're just good people, so we, we can have conversations and it flows really nicely and we both learn. And I'm showing them things that I'm seeing, that I'm learning from. And, you know, we can have a really nice conversation about it. And I've been feeling for the people that are having to do that with um, with anyone in their families or friends that are close-minded. Um, just know that I'm thinking about you. I know it's tough, but it's just something that we need to do. I didn't, I didn't know whether to pick up the vlog camera today. I feel like it's, it's, it's one of these things where... Where I don't want to just go back to like life as normal because it, it's not but we can make a, a difference in our day-to-day -day lives while doing the stuff that we we always do but I'm just, I've just been thinking about ways that I can I can contribute to the cause and, and raise awareness and, and support in my day-to-day -day life eventually things will go back to people posting about their normal stuff but there, it's just about integrating everything that we've learned and still educating each other while doing so, if you know what I mean. So like this week's vlog, for example, it's probably not going to be much of me doing everyday things because I've not been doing everyday things. Um, I've been working like normal. Uh, I've not filmed uh, this week. I actually had a video, I had a video filmed and ready to go up, but I don't feel like it's right to, to post it. So I'm going to wait and do it next week. Um, that looks really dodgy. This is a curtain rail, just to let you know. This is a curtain rail. I'm going to change my backdrop again because I, I want to. I've got an idea. Um, we're all going to go back to posting our content that we're known for and that we love. Do our jobs again, I guess. Uh, I did have makeup on today. I took it off. I need to do a face mask. My skin, um, it looks it looks all right there, but it feels shit. It feels dry. I never have dry skin, but I have just been using a couple of products lately. I've not been using a whole lot on my skin. So I'm going to do my fat glow facial the Ulla Henriksen one um I actually might just put this on while I'm talking to you I really like this face mask something else that I'm excited about is I've found a lot of new people to follow on Instagram I kept on seeing posts that were saying to diversify your feed 
I kind of went out to find other people that are really like liked their feed and their style, and I, f I found I found some. I'm really excited. With this face mask, you just put it on and you rub it until it goes white, and then we're gonna leave it for 15 minutes, and it's gonna dissolve all the dead shit skin on my face. The first few days of this week, I was on my phone. I think for like eight hours. That was all I did that day. I was just constantly finding videos to share with you guys and finding, you know, finding out as much information as I could. And then I realised quite quickly, probably not the way to do it. And um, you know, it was like it was like cramming for a test. You know that these kind of things take time. And another thing that I thought was, well, it's all well and good, and it's a, it's a really amazing that we're that everyone's like banding together now. But really, what makes difference is what we're all going to do in the long term. So this is kind of something that we've got to just all prove to each other that, that it's just something that we don't stand for anymore. And part of me, in a really weird way, feels um, hopeful. I feel like there's change coming. I saw this amazing post that actually, it actually made me, made me well up. And it was talking about, you know, 2020 has been a bit of a shit show, hasn't it? It's been a bit wild. You know, like, I don't know, has anyone else completely forgotten the fact there's a pandemic happening? I did. I, well, not, I didn't go out and start, you know, prancing around the streets, but, you know, my mind's been so occupied that I actually forgot. But yeah, so 2020 has been a shit show. A lot of stuff's happened. And then I read this post that was like, well, what if 2020 is the year that everything changes? You know, what if it's the, the chance that we get to, to properly actually change the world? And it made me feel quite optimistic and excited. So my plan here is um, I'm going to continue to learn. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to talk about it maybe quite as much as what I have been because I've not been doing anything else other than talking talking about what we can all do. These things actually do take time, you know, you can't sit and cram eight documentaries in in a day because you're not learning the right way. You're not you're not taking it in properly. So I'm just going to vlog again. I'm going to vlog my life. I'm going to limit how much time I'm spending on my phone because it's been hard. Uh, I can't imagine what it's like for the black community having to, having to deal with this and take it all in. You know, a lot of people have been begging and screaming for change for so long and to finally see a light at the end of the tunnel must be pretty, pretty wild. And yeah, I'm just going to do my absolute best. I'm looking at ways to diversify my content. One thing that a lot of people I've seen doing, and I just, I hate, I hate the chance that people will say that I'm, I'm just doing stuff for the sake of it. That kind of breaks my heart, but I'm seeing a lot of people, um, saying that they would love to see a makeup tutorial using only beauty brands that are black owned. I would be so happy to do that. Basically, I am, like I said, I'm still learning. There's absolutely no way that I could sit here and give you guys a lesson on black history, but any kind of suggestions on what you guys think that I can do on my platform to help going forward um, would be really brilliant. It's Thursday right now. Me and Jack need to go and do our food shop tomorrow. I literally have not left the house. And I've like I've not I've not even been for a walk. I've just been in the house, so I think I really need to like get outside tomorrow. Yeah, I'm just really excited. I'm really excited to make the effort. I don't know entirely what that means yet, but I just want you guys to know that I'm I'm really working on it. I've literally sat here and talked at you for 15 minutes. I really hope that you guys know that my I'm I'm just um do I think doing my doing my best and I'm really happy to read your messages and find out that you guys are too. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> this is for Jack. It's <laughs> headphones for his gaming because I have to listen to it. I thought I would do something nice. I wonder, he's walking the dogs just now so he should be home really soon, but I'm excited. It's just something small. It wasn't, it's not like a big present or anything. I get really excited. It's like Christmas, I get so excited buying other people presents. Yeah. I much prefer it to, well, no, I quite like getting presents as well, but I do, I do get so excited. I want him to come home now. He shouldn't be long. I really need to pee, but I don't know whether to just wait. I might just leave you guys filming because I want to see his wee face. What's that? <laughs> Oh no, I fell off your car! 
What? Did you get that far off? No, I left it off because I need to go home again. Where's the hand? Three presents for you. Why'd you give me a present? Because you deserve it. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Thank you very much. Just my games. Yeah, for you. It's got a surround sound so you can hear the baddies coming up so they don't kill you. Yeah, that's a good one. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> made me sad watching you do your shite wee red headphones. <laughs> yeah, they suck. Do you know I sneaky filmed you. <laughs> I hope you're all doing good. Today I woke up and I did my makeup. I went shopping with Jack. Uh, Marks and Spencer's let two people in, so we went shopping together and got some food. I uploaded a video. Um, at the moment, it's it's a it's a strange time because we don't really know what to be doing with our platforms other than supporting. The Black Lives Matter movement, of course, and I think for all of us, we're we're just kind of trying to figure out how we're going to be able to do that going forward while still doing our regular content. And there's there's certain ways that I've thought of that will really help for anyone who is thinking, um, how on earth am I am I going to help? You know, I've shared a lot of information on my Instagram stories and I've saved it to a Black Lives Matter highlight. And something that I've realised today is. I've been sharing a lot of information. I feel like uh, I've reached quite a lot of you guys and I've had loads of messages saying that you're, you're all, you know, putting in a really strong effort. And I think that's exactly it. We all just need to be putting in the effort and a lot of that is not online. Um, a lot of that is in our daily lives. I, ju I just really don't want you guys to think that, um, you know, we've had one strong week <laughs> and then we're going back to business as usual. But I suppose in a small sense, it will look like that because this is our, our jobs, isn't it? This is, this is the way that we all work. So I just want you guys to know that I am going to continue to do my best. I just know, I know this weekly vlog is, you know, it's, it's more of a, a kind of informative vlog maybe. Um, not so much of our kind of usual life because I've honestly not been living my usual life but I'm excited to feel a little less hopeless and more hopeful um, that we can all be doing our best. And these dogs just have, again, no idea what's going on. No idea what's going on in the world. Hi guys. Hi. Are you best friends? Are you best friends? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this big puppet. Oh, this little puppet. No, no, no. Don't, don't you speak to me like that. Don't you speak to me like that. I Don't you. Do. <laughs> Ow. Jack, sing that song again. This stinky dog is coming and everybody's running. He's coming after you. He's gonna do a poo. This stinky dog is coming and everybody's running. And everybody's running. He's, He's coming, coming after you. He's gonna do a poo. You remember the other one? Stinky dog, stinky dog, does whatever a stinky dog does. Look, just bum, <laughs> does your poo. Better watch out or you'll get it on you, watch out. Here comes stinky dog. Yeah. <laughs> is there any other ones? I'm sure there is. There's plenty of, I can't remember them all. They only come through when I hear old songs. Composer, filmmaker, uh, director. You really do, do it all, don't you, Jay? What? <laughs> Yes, that's making songs about the stinky dog is just The stinky dog is coming and talents. everybody's running. He's coming after you, you and he's going to do a pick. Yeah, I always put pepper in eggs. You put pepper in your scramby eggs? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. We, need to put, we need to put a halt to your leash on. Come on. Go and try and put it on it. We need to put a leash on. <laughs> we need to put a leash on. Do you know? Do you want to go for a walk? Well, we need to put this on. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? Do you know? <laughs> hey, watch this. As soon as it's on, not a peep. She just likes being disobedient. She just likes playing that so Not a peep when you've got it on.
um, I think the weather's meant to be a bit nicer tomorrow, but, uh, God, why am I talking about the weather? Hi guys. It looks like I don't move. I have, I have been moving around. It looks like I also don't wear different clothes. Why is it so bright? So yeah, honestly, the last few, the last, honestly, has it been a week nearly? Hi guys. This camera's gonna break on me, man. Like I said, there's, there's, th oh. Um, I am, I, it's the same way that sy systematic, I can't say that word. Oh my god, the dogs are pure snogging each other. Literally, like, her, what are you doing? Look at this. What are you guys doing? 